Okay. I've been working on this all day. It's a classic. Mm. We're going to do a spoof of Glee, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to have little elves. They're going to have little hats on their little pointy ears. And they can only sing in that like really high, high voice, you know? So it's going to be really That's more ridiculous like than your haircut. How about no? I need something better. Girl writer, your turn. Go. Oh, okay. Um, okay. What if... What if the next Survivor took place at the North Pole? Uh-huh. And all the contestants had to yep. make igloos right. to survive. And mm. they had to... Yeah. Kill no! Them. Next. Okay, well, I had this idea about Gilligan's Island. Mm -hmm. Only it's with their grandkids. Mm -hmm. And they play a basketball game against the grandkids of the Harlem Globetrotters. That is the only thing that I have ever heard that is worse than that coffee that I just tasted right there. No! Something good, people. That's what I need. Here's an idea. What if we did a sketch with Steve Handa, the smelly panda? Brilliant. Do you see what she just did there, ladies and gentlemen? She took a risk. And that's exactly what you need to do. I learned a valuable lesson ever since I was a young boy and I stuck my face into a fan. It sounded just like that, I promise. And that's that we need to take risks. So let's take risks, ladies and gentlemen. From now on, you grow the beard. You're bald and you still smell funny. Let's go, people. Make magic happen.